Hello guys, Mars Framens here. Probably some of you have wake up to the same news as I did this morning, that Quixel assets are moving to the fab, which is gonna be the new asset library for Unreal, and that the Megascan assets are not gonna be free anymore starting 2025. So I just kinda wanted to go quickly over these news and how you can prepare yourself for the new changes. So starting with the first thing, that all the assets from the Megascans uh, that are currently available can still be available into the bridge, and I think also gonna be available in the fab. With all the new assets that they're gonna be releasing, they're gonna be available exclusively only on the fab. Good thing for anybody that's watching right now the video. Any asset that you own on a Quixel Megascan library, you're gonna be able to use it in the future for free. So it's basically like you own the license, it's gonna be available. So you can head down to the Quixel bridge or Quixel Megascan's website and you can go through the assets that you would like to use in the future and add them to your purchase list it's all of them are for free so you just need to kind of like select them i believe we don't need to download them if you would like to download the whole library it's eight terabytes uh but i believe you can just add any asset and you can even if you want to put the extra work you can add all, all of them so whatever is currently right now whatever you're going to add or whatever you're using going to be free for the, in your, your future project anything that's going to come now in 2025 any new pro products that they can develop going to be paid but the painting structure is actually pretty reasonable, I think. If you're going to the Unreal Engine uh, forum, then uh, they're breaking down here the new pricing. It's going to be standalone 2D and 3D assets starting for a dollar, which I believe it's actually not so bad. Obviously, it adds up as you're adding more assets, but how many mega scan assets actually you're using in a project maybe like in a maximum to the 100 200 so 200 bucks for very good for very high quality assets is actually not so bad for their asset packs it's going to be starting at 24.99 and procedural asset kits starting at four four dollars and 99 cents and these are the starting prices obviously there's going to be some of the assets could be more expensive than that but I believe that they're still gonna keep everything kind of like, you know, indie friendly. And maybe there's just gonna be some different kind of uh, pricing points. For example, for the indie developers, gonna be one pricing and for like pro enterprise or whatnot, it's gonna have different kind of prices. But these news are not surprising to me. When last year I talked about that they are changing how they're gonna charge for people who are using Unreal Engine for not gaming projects. So I already put kind of like my predictions how the new Epic Financial changes gonna impact like mega scans, uh, free for the month assets and meta humans and any other free thing that they are giving us for free. So I don't think this is a bad thing because obviously to develop amazing cool tools, somebody needs to be get paid for that. And we've been enjoying free assets for, I think four five years from now since they actually started to put mega scans and any other free thing. So it's been a really long time and that we just enjoyed it. And I believe that it's not a bad thing as long as they are pricing it fairly to, you know, people for try it out for some indie fan projects and, you know, for enterprise, which I believe they will. And I really hope that this new pricing model is going to help them to create new amazing assets like the three, three packs that they have, which are really great assets. And maybe they're going to get back to the Quixel Mixer and... And gonna put more development in that and we're gonna finally gonna get some alternate tool to the substance painter uh another thing that you know they're touching is which is kind of one of the my my close subjects is so meta humans are part of the quick cell and the mega scan and all that thing so currently uh all they are saying that it's just gonna be available again still in bridge and in a fab but I wouldn't be surprised that in the future, like next year or in two years, we will get some changes in how um, we are getting them and that they're going to be, again, put their under some paid licensing. So currently there's nothing much we have to do with that. But uh, one thing you can do, the same thing as I have done, if you, for example, using many humans to kind of like create your own characters, you can download, just create many humans for every body type and just download them. So you can like uh, be ahead in the future, whatever changes they're going to make. Uh, again, if they're going to decide to charge also for metahumans, I still but don't believe it's a bad thing because uh, metahumans currently where they are, it's metahumans are great. The tools are very limited and 
it's a framework, not a human creator. So I hopefully maybe if they can start charge in some way for that, then it's going to evolve in some character creator and it's going to be just easier to customize them. But if not, then I have my tutorial how to create your own custom meta human and I have a clothing tutorial coming up soon. And I also going to talk about a bit few pro tools uh, that I use to really create my own custom meta humans. So these are the news. Um, it's a big change, I know, but luckily for us, they are not taking anything away up until right now, up until uh, this year. So whatever they have, you can just grab assets that you want or just grab the whole library, own it, and nothing can change in that way. It's just whatever is going to come in the future, uh, new asset packs, new assets, new scans. That's where you're going to need to pay, which is, again, I think, priced pretty fairly. And currently their library probably already are covering for 95% of the use cases. So own the assets, grab what you need, and it's not so bad. So these are just my two cents into this. And so let me know down below what are you thinking about the new changes and see you in the next one. Bye.